Has this ever happened in your house? Now, where did I put that cookbook? Mom, come quickly. Sarah broke the lamp in the den. Sarah did what? Oh my goodness. Oh Sarah, baby girl, are you okay? Yes, Mom. I think I am okay. How do we clean the light bulb up? Danger. This family is now in danger. CFL. Energy saving light bulbs are hazardous when they break. Let's go to Professor Killings, Soft Killings, for instructions on how to clean up a broken CFL light bulb. Hello, I am Professor Soft Killings. I am going to give you the EPA instructions on how to clean up that harmless broken CFL light bulb. Disposal of burned out CFL light bulbs. Pay attention, this is important information. If your state or local environmental regulatory agency permits you to put used or broken CFLs in the garbage, you must 1. Seal the bulb in two plastic bags, 2. Put it into the outside trash or other protected outside location. Otherwise you must contact your local municipal solid waste agency to identify local recycling options. Remember, these are filled with mercury. Because CFLs contain a small amount of mercury, EPA recommends the following cleanup and disposal guidelines. Before cleanup, air out the room. Remove people and pets, do not walk in breakage, shut off central air and do not return for 15 minutes or longer. Clean up steps for hard surfaces. Carefully scoop up glass fragments and powder, using stiff paper or cardboard. Place items in a glass jar with metal lid, such as a canning jar, or in a sealed plastic bag. Use sticky tape, such as duct tape to pick up any remaining small glass pieces and powder. Wipe the area clean with damp paper towels or disposable wet wipes. Place towels in the glass jar or plastic bag. Do not use a vacuum or broom to clean up the broken bulb on hard surfaces. Clean up steps for carpeting or rug. There is danger. Please follow instructions. Carefully pick up glass fragments and Place them in a glass jar with metal lid, or in a sealed plastic bag. Use sticky tape, such as duct tape, to pick up any remaining small glass fragments and powder. If vacuuming is needed, after all visible materials are removed, vacuum the area where the bulb was broken. Remove the vacuum bag or canister, placing the bag or the vacuum debris in a sealed plastic bag. If using a canister vacuum, wipe inside clean, thoroughly. Clean up steps for clothing, bedding, etc. If clothing or bedding materials come in direct contact with broken glass or mercury containing powder from inside the bulb, they might stick to the fabric. The clothing or bedding should be thrown away. Do not wash such clothing or bedding because mercury fragments in the clothing may contaminate the washing machine and pollute sewage through draining. You can, however, wash clothing or other materials that have been exposed to the mercury vapor from a broken CFL, such as the clothing you are wearing when you cleaned up the broken CFL. As long as that clothing has not come into direct contact with the materials from the broken bulb. If shoes come into direct contact with broken glass, or mercury containing powder from the bulb. Wipe them off with damp paper towels or disposable wet wipes. Place all towels or wipes that were used in the cleanup in a glass jar or plastic bag for disposal. Disposal of cleanup materials. Immediately. Place all cleanup materials outdoors in a trash container or protected area for the next normal trash pickup. Wash your hands after disposing of the jars or plastic bags containing cleanup materials. Check with your local or state government about disposal requirements in your specific area. Some states do not allow such trash disposal. Instead, 
they require that broken and unbroken mercury containing bulbs be taken to a local recycling center. Future cleaning of carpeting or rug. Air out the room during and after vacuuming. The next several times you vacuum, shut off the central HV, A, C system and open a window before vacuuming. Keep the central heating air conditioning system shut off and the window open for at least 15 minutes after vacuuming is completed. EPA is continually reviewing its cleanup and disposal recommendations for CFLs to ensure that the agency presents the most up-to-date information for consumers and businesses. So, I ask you, do these CFL light bulbs sound safe to you? The EPA claims these bulbs are harmless, are they? Let's check back in with the Schmuck family and see how Mrs. Schmuck took care of the broken CFL. Why didn't they tell me CFLs were so dangerous? They told me CFL light bulbs were safe and would save me money. Come on kids, we need to see about getting a new house. CFL light bulbs, do your research and protect your family. Say no to new laws requiring CFL usage.